everybody, Mark the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying Stan Headley's Melvin Octopus, and um, I'm going to stick with the sort of original dressing as I understand it, tie variations if you like, to suit yourself. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel, get access to the members on the content, and be entered into the giveaways. So I've got my hook and my vise. It's a size 10 Camazan B420, the Yorkshire Sedge hook, right? Which, as I say, you don't see a lot of people tying the octopuses, um, octopi, on uh, these anymore. But I like the look of it compared to the straight hook. I don't think the fish care, but they've run on some brown uh, uni 8 I'm going to tie in a tag, right, when I'm in line with the barb, and it's just uh, some flat gold. I'm going to run back about two, the width of two uh, tons of medium tinsel or so. Right, for this, for the tag, and then I'll come up, oops, try that again, I'll come up, here I get, I overlapped them, but it's probably about two and a half widths, trim away the waist, I'm just tidying everything up. Now for the tail, I've got some Glowbrite number 11 and I've got uh, 8 strands here. But if you want it heavier, it's up to you. I'm just going to catch this in from the front and then I'll get my rib as well which is fine oval gold and then I'll just put everything back tie it off as I go take it all the way back to the tag there tail length it's up to yourself. Uh, I'm going to go for roughly the shank. Something like that. Obviously if you're fishing the home international competitions you've got to keep your overall fly inside the 5 sixteenths uh, size rule. But if you don't, if you're not it's up to you, you know you can make it longer. <clears throat> now, body is golden olive silver. Stub that on. This is now the unwaxed thread, right? I've used up all the waxed thread, tying in the tag and the tail and the rib. You know, the grip's important. If it was waxed, I couldn't slide that dub and up there like that. So I'm just going to just got a wee red hackle fibre off of my desk there in the dubbing, taking it out. Of the body, and then the body hackle is well, two. It's a, a sort of green olive and a golden olive cock hackle. I'm using Chinese. And I'm just going to line up the tips, make sure they're lined up, and strip them, strip the 
fibres at the tie end so that they're the same length right? and you should size them so they're the same size obviously I'm quite lucky these two capes are almost identical um, so I'm not having any difficulty trying to get them to match tie them in trim away the waist get a bit more wax on my thread here catch in the, the end of the butts and now full turn at the front and then back down the body that's three down, three on the body come in at my fourth follow it around with the the rib and then just come up quick even turns four or five will get you up and when you come to the front just sweep all the hackle back you got a full turn in front of it and then come across the thread tie it off some of your waist now we'll come in with my little crow get a wee scrub and you can just break away the hackle and then the shoulder hackle is a breast, a rump feather, the yellow rump from a, a golden pheasant Okay. Um, and these, I mean, this is the thing that nowadays there's these folk going about cripplers and all that. But I mean, a crippler's an octopus if I'm, if if, if you ask me, you know. Um, putting a hackle in front of the, in front of the golden pheasant or pheasant doesn't make it no an octopus. So tie this in by the tip and just fold it back and then we've just got to leave the tip in there because you just lose it. And then dead easy. Just fold it and wind. A nice variation of this, see if you've got a skin that you dye chartreuse. These uh, rump feathers really take the colour quite well. And they look at and it looks really nice and with a sort of golden olive mix. So when I've got enough I'm just going to fold the hackle over my thread, take the thread through the space and Actually, I'll just pull away any of the fibres and then catch everything off. Fold everything back. And build my head. And I'm just sort of straightening out these. Um, they'll be kind of twist it, the, the golden pheasant. Just, uh, just sweep them towards the front and then run your hand back through them and they'll, and they'll sit nice and straight it'll knock all the twist out of them then it's just a case of whip finishing twice just for security and then a 
of varnish. A couple of coats of varnish. Give you a nice shiny head. That's it, that's Stan Heedley's Melvin Octopus. Tied to the sort of original pattern. Looks quite good, I think, on this uh, said shoot. But anyway, up to you, you can use a straight hook if you want. So, I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.